The United States Navy has always been at the forefront of cutting-edge technology, constantly pushing the boundaries of what is possible. With their reputation for developing and utilizing advanced technologies, they have left other nations in awe. While they are always prepared and ready for any mission, their thirst for innovation never fades. In a recent development that has sent shockwaves throughout the world, a Navy official disclosed that they have been working on a technology that can modify space-time and create portals through it. This remarkable technology has been developed with the help of Dr. Salvatore Cesar Pius, a brilliant aerospace engineer and inventor who has been working for the United States Space Force. Dr. Pius who formerly worked at the Naval Air Station Patuxent River, is known for his innovative ideas and has developed several technologies that the Navy has access to. His inventions have been shrouded in secrecy, leading some to speculate that there may be even more advanced technologies that the public is not aware of. Dr. Pice's work is so outlandish and unconventional that it has earned the nickname the UFO Patents. These inventions are not just ideas on paper. They have been studied and pursued by the United States Navy. Each one of these UFO patents has the potential to change the course of modern science and society as we know it. One of his most notable patents is the 2018 approved design for an aerospace underwater craft with incredible speed and maneuverability. This cone-shaped vehicle can potentially fly equally well in air, water, or space without leaving any heat signatures. It can achieve this by creating a quantum vacuum around itself, which is facilitated by a very dense polarized energy field. The vacuum enables the craft to repel any molecule it comes in contact with, regardless of the medium, while manipulating quantum field fluctuations in the local vacuum energy state reduces its inertia. The polarized vacuum also dramatically reduces any elemental resistance and leads to extreme speeds. If the vacuum-creating technology can be engineered, it would lead to significant advancements in aerospace propulsion and power generation. Moreover, it would enable us to engineer the fabric of our reality at the most fundamental level, according to the patent. This promises to be a reality-altering outcome with far-reaching implications. In 2019, Dr. Pais published a groundbreaking paper that introduced a revolutionary technology called the Room Temperature Superconducting System. This system proposes the ability to conduct superconductivity at room temperatures, which could cause a massive disruption in the world of science and technology. For years, scientists have been searching for a superconductor that could work at room temperature, a comfortable 25 degrees Celsius. But the search may finally be over thanks to the innovative mind of Dr. Pace. He came up with a wire that has a special metal coating over an insulator core. What makes this wire special is an electromagnetic coil that surrounds it. When activated by a pulsed current, the coil creates a vibration that allows the wire to conduct electricity with zero resistance at room temperature. The implications of this technology are huge, potentially leading to more efficient electronics and energy systems that could change our daily lives. But that's not all. He has also developed a high-energy electromagnetic field generator. The technology is described as being able to create what is essentially a force field straight out of science fiction, one that could generate an impenetrable defensive shield to sea and land, as well as space-based military and civilian assets. It could protect against a wide range of threats, such as anti-ship ballistic missiles, radar-evading cruise missiles, and top attack for main battle tanks, both land and sea-based systems. It could also counteract the effects of solar-induced coronal mass ejections and defend critical military satellites in an anti-satellite role for space-based systems. Another unearthly invention of his is the high-frequency gravitational wave generator, which is a gas-filled shell equipped with outer shell surface sound generators, microwave emitters, and acoustic vibration-resonant gas-filled cavities. The invention features a high-frequency gravitational wave generator that can be used for various purposes, such as enhanced propulsion, asteroid disruption deflection, and communication through solid objects. Additionally, it describes a new type of propulsion system that doesn't rely on traditional methods such as chemical combustion or propellant discharge. Instead, it employs electromagnetic resonance by emitting microwaves into a resonant cavity to generate thrust.
These inventions are truly mind-blowing, but many are left wondering how Dr. Pais was able to develop such advanced technologies. Despite his impressive background, many physicists and scientists remain skeptical of the validity of these inventions, citing a lack of scientific fact to support the claims. However, the authenticity of Dr. Payas' inventions have been confirmed through official documents by the Chief Technology Officer for the U.S. Naval Aviation Enterprise. He attested to the reality of these inventions in appeals with the United States Patent and Trademark Office, and stressed how important they will be in regard to national security and peer state competition. Despite the confirmation from a credible source, some people still doubt the feasibility of Dr. Payas' inventions, and theories have emerged that these technologies might just be a misinformation campaign designed to mislead the United States adversaries. There is also a possibility that Dr. Payas' patents could be a disguise for the existence of alien technology. This is especially relevant considering recent claims made by the Pentagon of potential encounters with extraterrestrial artifacts which could potentially be in the possession of the U.S. government. Nevertheless, several years of research are being carried out by the government regarding similar technologies related to Dr. Payas' work, suggesting that these designs are not exactly new and have been on the edge of science for quite some time. Dr. Payas' ideas primarily revolve around a phenomenon he dubbed the Payas Effect. This effect involves spinning electromagnetic fields with the aim of containing a fusion reaction, which could bring about a massive change in power consumption and energy abundance. In a paper published in the Plasma Science Journal, Dr. Pius explains his work on a plasma compression fusion device that he believes can create a net energy gain, which would be a major breakthrough in the world of energy production. Based on the patent application, a small device has been developed that can host and maintain fusion reactions, which can generate an enormous amount of power ranging from gigawatts to terawatts. This is much higher compared to the energy output of a large coal plant or a medium-sized nuclear reactor. If his invention is real, it has the potential to provide nearly unlimited clean energy from a device no bigger than a sports utility vehicle. Despite skepticism from experts, scientists, and physicists, the United States Navy took Dr. Pay's ideas were serious enough to conduct experiments for three years. According to the inventor's documents, two Navy officials confirmed the operability of some of the inventions, including the Pi's High Energy Electromagnetic Field Generator, which was tested from 2016 until 2019 at a cost of $508,000. However, the extent to which it was operable was not included in the documents. The team involved in the project comprised 10 engineers and technicians who worked for about a 600 hours. Unfortunately, the Pays effect could not be proven upon completion of the tests, and nobody knew what happened with the tested device. There were indications that the inventions were moved to another research department in the Navy or the Air Force. Despite the attention that his inventions have gathered, the production of these technologies is not yet actualized or implemented due to a lack of support. Non-believers in the technology believe that the amount of energy needed for the fields described by Pies and his ideas on electromagnetic propulsions is beyond the scope of current available technology. While Dr. Pais' technology and designs are definitely ones for the books and could be a major technological advancement, other experts, scientists, and physicists are against it, saying it will never work. As we stand at this crossroads, the question remains, will Dr. Pius' work ultimately be proven to be revolutionary, or will it fall victim to the same fate as so many other so-called breakthroughs that turned out to be nothing more than wishful thinking? Only time will tell. If you like our story, smash that subscribe button. Until our next story. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing stories.